Hey everybody, wishing you a splendiferous day of magnanimous delights of servitude and awesome bubbly gorgeousness from the heart. Wishing you freckles of joy and bliss blossoms of bombing happy shivers and uh, enjoying the weather and the, the grass and the sunshine and the sky. Giving thanks for today and every day facing every day as a good challenge, a good test, climbing over walls. <laughs> so, life on earth can be very challenging, but I want to say, in my opinion, we've come here absolutely by choice. And to, instead of getting demoralized by our challenges because everybody has ups and downs to face embrace the challenge accept love and embrace the challenge and go forth go forward with a powerful indomitable unstoppable attitude of bliss blossoms budding from the stem of your arm reaching out to the ceiling of the sky and the little hairs we call trees of Mother Earth, Gaia. Be grateful is the number one. It's a trick to be grateful for your arms, legs, body, eyes, nose, teeth, gums, mouth, jaw, muscles, liver, kidney, gall, blah, 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 blah. All of these things, all of our lovely things we're blessed with. And to view life as a bit of a riddle, like so, when you're not getting on relationships, if it's really bad, obviously leave it. If it's abusive, try and leave if possible. But if it's, you know, everybody goes through relationship troubles or else just like hardships in life. We have to go forward with an attitude of gratitude of what we have and to find the key that fits the lock to solve our riddles. So, so that means trying new things because what we were trying doesn't work too well try new things but keep the things that do work but keep searching for the key that fits the lock and makes your gets your work better or a new job or uh, wow look at that beautiful view or it gets you to have more peace and happiness with your partner or family or whatever else and uh, less stress so, one of my codes of conduct, one of my ethical laws, and one of the things that makes me cry if I see this happening, is when we see the, f the f is not to forget about the forgotten. Not to leave people out, to ostracize them, or animals, not to forget it. If you have a pet, not to be le like leaving them out at a party, like they're just in the corner and you, everyone forgets about them. That's really sad for me, you know. Not to forget about the forgotten, and that includes some small groups. And also not to pick on the, pick on the poor, or pick on the weak. <laughs> Who's that? He's a YouTube watcher of mine, probably a subscriber I don't even know. <laughs> <laughs> so, uh, this is Ireland, in case any of you don't know. Welcome to Ireland. Hope you're enjoying the sunshine with me. Kick the stone. So, what else? To, to not to prey on the weak and the vulnerable. You know, not to ostracize the lonely, the the forgotten about. And that includes the animals. I, that's my code of conduct. I can't force that on anybody. I'm just telling you what I live by. I think this is really important for me. <sighs> I love, love thoughtfulness, consideration, remembering about people and animals, seeing the sad and taking action. Not always, like you can't help every homeless person, for example. And we all have our life paths. But it'd be nice to realize that you can do anything with your life. That's what I'd like to say to a homeless person.
that you can do anything. You don't have to sit there all day. You can do something worthwhile. You can do help people, do something, contribute, help out somewhere. Where there's a will, there's a way. And that includes all of our challenges. So a little mini forest, a little grove of a uh, beautiful silver birch. And up that mountain I'm going to climb up later, bright head. And I'm going to go shopping out here for some oranges for breakfast and some juice for my mum. And in my bag I already have some juice. A smoothie. But I'll let you go now and I wish you a very nice day, a pleasant and content day. Without striving to, for bliss or absolute extraordinary joy where you have a, have a seizure on the ground. Don't, don't strive for excessive, excessive, unattainable bliss, <laughs> even though I talked about the bliss blossoms. <laughs> Just go for contentment, a bit of, bit of peace there, here and there, you know? Be a little bit more gratitude, a little bit more contentment, a little bit more easiness in your life. When you try search for all of this enlightenment stuff, you get caught in a cycle of the ego almost, where you just get caught up. You lose yourself in dissatisfaction and discontentment because you never get enough. You're always waiting and striving and reaching for more instead of being happy and content with what you have. So it's about, it's about making the most loving and liking the ordinary small moments of life, making them magical and seeing the magic in them, having more fun instead of trying to always reach for this idea in your head like the, the huge holiday you have once per year and then the rest of the year is like whatever so instead of reaching for the enlightenment thing or the whatever your idea is of bliss just enjoy walking to the shop instead or enjoy your shopping a little bit more or make your relationship a happier place you're the co-creator so make your, your relationship whoever the relationship is with better so send you love and uh, enjoy the day and that's all I gotta say. Leave you with a rhyme. I'm now gonna go for it. Living in my prime with the sunshine. <laughs> See you everybody. God bless. Bye bye.